Today, I will show you all the stats that got me into Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Princeton, and Central Alabama Community College. I made a separate video about the essay that got me into these schools. If you want to check that out, it's in the description. Quick disclaimer, by no means am I trying to brag in this video at all. I know I'm hella smart and like low-key a genius, but don't let that make you feel like you can't get into any of these schools because honestly, anybody can as long as you did what I did. So let's get into my high school stats. 4.0 unweighted GPA, 5.5 weighted GPA. Everybody always asks asked me like, how did you get such a high GPA? And honestly, it's not that hard. I just took a couple of AP classes and also suck my teacher's dick. That's pretty much it. And obviously I was valedictorian, like what else did you expect? Of course, I got a 1600 on the SAT. Like if I got anything lower, I think I would have probably like hung myself type beat. So my dad also owned the high school that I went to. People always say that gave me an advantage, but really all he did was like go into the system twice and boost my grades a little bit. So not that big of a deal. Okay, now it's time for my extracurriculars. I'm a big believer in quality over quantity. So I only did 50 extracurriculars, but I'm only gonna show you guys the ones that I think helped me out a lot. So firstly, I was in the Rich People Club, which is basically a club for people with a lot of fucking money so like it's pretty self-explanatory also loki cured cancer here and there Ooh, and this is an underrated one that i recommend to everybody helped develop the covid vaccine received a phd at age 10 also a really underrated one and then finally i volunteered at a homeless shelter i kind of hated doing this one because i just don't give a fuck about homeless people so yeah those are the big extracurriculars that i feel like got me into harvard obviously some of these are going to be a little bit more difficult than the other ones like volunteering at a homeless shelter but all in all i feel like these are pretty laid back and realistic. Finally, we can talk about the awards that I got throughout high school. I only got a few awards during my high school career, but obviously honor roll every year, not that hard. Captain of every sports team. I got the daddy's money award, which is basically when you receive funding from your father so that you can like do things. And then I got time person of the year in 2005, which was the year I was born. Here's a picture of the cover. Following that, I got the smartest person in the fucking world award, most likely to become the next Albert Einstein. And then finally the richest fuck award, which I feel like everybody gets nowadays so <sighs> so yeah those are my stats extracurriculars and awards again don't feel discouraged all these are super realistic and attainable you just gotta believe in yourself so thanks for watching and i hope you get into the same schools that i did unless you're fucking poor